Welcome back. This is part two of E lecture six. Now let's say we have selected a bearing uh, B six seven four double Z, which is actually the first row on the table. Uh. Can you see that? The first one. B six seven four Z Z. I want to pull up all the bearing dimension. Uh. So uh I first draw the bearing first. Draw the bearing similar to this, uh. there's a center line. The inner rays, the ball, and the outer rays. Now I'm going to pull up all the relevant dimensions. Huh? Uh, this, what is this dimension? What is this dimension? What is this dimension? And what is this radius? As well as this radius. Let's look at the bearing here. And we realize that the diameter is D. So we see the number is 4. So let me put the numbers correctly. This one, we have 4. Moving on, what is the diameter D that is going to be... Sorry, I got it wrong. Eh? This is not... This diameter 4 has to be here. Sorry. Mistake. 4. Diameter 4 is here. And that is diameter 7. Diameter 7 is over here. And this is the width of the bearing, which is B. It's going to be 2.5. And what about the radius? The radius given here is 0 0.1 minimum. So this is 0 0.1 minimum. What does it mean by 0 0.1 minimum? Let me elaborate this a bit. Huh? I'm going to use... Now, that means here, if you zoom in, you realize there's a radius. The radius has to be... 0 0.1 minimum means that if it is if the radius is if its radius is 0 0.05 wrong if radius is 0 0.2 okay that's what I mean huh? 0 0.1 is okay huh? 0 0.05 is not okay means that we cannot have a sharp corner for the bearing similar for this huh? uh, this is so 0 0.1 minimum which means that uh that is the smallest radius it can have. It can have bigger radius, but not smaller than that. Now, let's move on to the other part of the bearing. Uh. It's called the bearing installation. Uh. So, uh, sorry, I just have to come back here. Bearing installation means that uh, how are we going to put the bearing in? Uh? Just now, the earlier one was the bearing dimension. Now, let's look at the bearing installation. I draw the center line first. It's over here, center line. And let me put the shaft in. The shaft will look like that. Step here. And that's a shaft. Huh? Now I'm going to put in the bearings. I'm going to put the bearing in red. So we have the bearing. Another bearing. No, no, sorry, sorry. Same bearing. Huh? Same bearing. Another side of the bearing. I must be dreaming. Huh? Or uh, I'm tired. Eh? Either way. Now I'm going to put in the housing. Huh? You see, the bearing has to be has to be held by the inner inner ring and the outer ring too. Uh. So now the housing. Okay, let, let me put the word here first. This is the housing. With the housing, I need to lock it with a part. Uh. I lock it with a ring. 
So I need to hold this guy. Otherwise, this this outer ring will be moving here and there. So we need to have something to hold it. And that is where we're going to put all the relevant dimensions. Huh? Now, first is uh, what is this diameter? And what is this diameter? And only two diameter. And the radius on the housing. Uh, what is the radius? And what is the radius over here? So basically, we're going to bring out three dimensions. Uh. What is the diameter of this shaft shoulder to hold onto the inner race? Uh? Let's look at the number again. Uh, the first bearing, uh, same bearing. So we look at the number, we got DH maximum. Uh, oh, sorry, sorry, DS minimum, minimum 4.6. So here I got diameter 4.6 minimum what does minimum means uh, is this uh? if the diameter is 4 wrong diameter 5 okay that's what it means uh. that means uh, it cannot have be smaller than diameter 4.6 it could be bigger than diameter 4.6 similarly for this diameter on the DH uh, here it mentioned diameter 6.4 maximum what does maximum mean again uh, means that diameter 6 okay if it's diameter 7 no so it should not exceed diameter it should not exceed diameter 6.4 and the radius same my radius it says uh, 0 0.08 maximum same for this uh, 0 0.08 maximum and what does it mean is all same uh? if the diameter is a uh, 0 0.1 or 0 0.05 okay let's let me explain this uh. 0 0.08 maximum is the biggest you can have so 0 0.05 good to go 0 0.08 fail got it that's what it means by all the dimensions here. Uh, I hope you understand this and we will see you in the part 3. Bye.